Okay, so, um, I'm a second year medical student at Durham University. When I applied, I applied to Newcastle, Durham, King's, Southampton and Nottingham. I got an interview from King's, uh, Newcastle and Durham and I got the offers from all three of them. This video is about how to answer why medicine um, or why did you choose to do medicine. This is one of the hardest questions to answer. Um, I'm not going to lie, I did struggle with it for a while. But basically, there's a, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. Now, first of all, the thing that I need to mention is that you have to decide why you want to do medicine. I can tell you how why I want to do medicine, but it's not going to help you answer the question because it's not going to seem, seem genuine. So, for example, if I copy someone else's answer and, you know, just regurgitated that in, in my interview, it doesn't sound genuine, to be honest, because it sounds like... And, and the thing is, the interviewers, they're not... You know, like they didn't just pick them up off the street, like they've been trained for this so they can see who's genuine and who isn't. There's a few different things that you can mention with this question. The first thing is, I like medicine because it combines biology with communication or the art of communication. Now, for me personally, I don't see communication as an art. Like I just talk to people and, you know, I just enjoy talking to people. But I wouldn't call it an, an art. Now, if I started saying, oh yeah, I like I like medicine because it combines biology with the art of communication, like they're gonna say that, they're gonna notice that I'm not being genuine. So like, um, yeah, so that's why I didn't say that. Another thing that you could say is, medicine is interesting because there's a constant advancement in the field of medicine. So for example, there's always ongoing research into new, into new treatments for, for example, Alzheimer's or dementia or cancer and stuff like this there's always constant research in in the medical field if that's what you're interested in or if that's what amazes you with medicine then that's what you should say another way you could approach it is by saying you know you you like helping people and you've always enjoyed doing things for other people now this is quite cliche and then they'll just this can be quite dodgy because the interviewer can just say well why don't you just do charity work you know what I mean this one is you know it's fine but you have to mention it with something else. So for example, you know, I like helping people, but I also like biology. So it combines biology with my enjoyment of helping other people. Another way you could approach it is being a doctor, you have a lot of responsibilities. You're in charge of a patient or you're solely responsible for the health of a patient, which is quite a big thing. Now, if, you, if you're a person who likes responsibilities, then you can mention that, you know, I'm a person who's, who likes responsibilities. I like to lead a team, you know, um, I've got the teamwork skills, I've got the communication skills, so I would, you know, I've got the qualities of a good doctor and, and this is something that I would really enjoy. If you like chemistry, then medicine might not be the right path for you, so don't say anything about chemistry and medicine because then they'll just be like, well, why don't you do pharmacy? The thing you can talk about is your experience of healthcare system. So, a lot of people I know have got atrial fibrillation or flutter or, you know, like something, basically something wrong with their heart. Um, so like a congenital heart defect um, and they did use that in their personal statement and in their interview and they, they said things along the lines of you know I experienced the healthcare system and um, it was something which you know I was amazed by and I was inspired by the way the anaesthetist took complete control of my body while I was asleep there's certain things that you can say about that I'm not a professional on that part because like I haven't got any congenital heart defect well I don't think I have so I didn't mention anything like that. It can be a little bit cliche if you start talking about like, I had my appendix taken out and now I want to become a doctor. And it doesn't really sound too genuine. If it genuinely, if you, if you think like you were even the slightest bit inspired by your doctor, then maybe you can mention that. But if you're just doing it because you've got nothing else to say, then be careful because they'll, they'll probably be able to catch you out. One thing to avoid is also talking about your family members. So for example, if your dad was a GP or a doctor and you say, my dad was a doctor and I want to be a doctor. Be careful because that's not really a valid reason. So hopefully I covered a few different ways you could answer this question. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to say other interview related questions or personal statement related questions or UK CAT or GCSE or A level or biology or chemistry or economics or vlogs or me eating American candy, then just check out the channel, 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.